you. Well, I, I asked for a, a performance that could help build our program moving forward. I wanted the boys to be positive. Uh, they've been terrific. Their attitude has been terrific since they've all arrived. Uh, it's not been ideal preparations, but I think the performance here tonight shows that uh, we are moving forward. Uh, some young guys put in some terrific performances there. And I I'm hoping that with senior guys that are in the MLS guys and some of the European guys that are not available tonight, that we have the nucleus of something positive moving forward. Colin, I know results, you, you, a lot of people say the results at this stage don't matter. But going into a Gold Cup where there might not be any more friendlies, is it? Can you say there's success? Can you say there's progress? And if so, where is it coming from? I can definitely say the success. I thought this was a very positive performance in possession. I thought the lads completed a lot of passes, set plays wise. I thought Costa Rica were under pressure for every set piece. The delivery from Kyle Becker was fabulous at times. And if we had hit the target on the occasions where we've had three headers, it could have been 4 1 there tonight, possibly 4 2 with Costa Rica hitting the bar. So, I don't think there's anything to be negative about at all other than the result, which is not what we wanted going into Gold Cup. But uh, you may find that a number of these players are not around at the Gold Cup. You may see some, some of our senior guys coming in, I was told, coming up here. I think five guys tonight have under five appearances for a national team. Two have made their first appearance for a senior national team tonight. So if that's not a positive, I don't know what is. Colin, can you speak to specifically to the uh, local guys. I mean, Randy, he was like a fire plug down that right side in the first half, and uh, to Saint got, got some action. Uh, he obviously looked like he was trying to make a difference out there too. Yeah, sure, I thought Randy was uh, terrific. He brings the crowd to life because of his pace. Uh, had a little chance in the first half as well, just maybe overhit with his last touch before he shot it. But he's, he's someone that, with that pace, uh, is going to be causing defences real problem and, and what we'd like to see now in the next stage of his development is that final touch, you know, is, is being able to hit the target or, you know, that, that softer touch that allows him to get a good shot away. But goodness me, he, he ran himself into the ground, you know, these guys have come in from Europe and uh, Tosan Ricketts is on, the, is on the table at the moment with stomach cramps, you know, because he wasn't feeling well this morning, but he committed himself to, to desperately wanting to play here tonight, so that shows you that the, you know, I got asked in a conference call the, the commitment of players coming in for the national team, and I think that proves right away wholeheartedly that there is serious commitment to coming in here. You have some players here who are now unattached. Uh, how big do you think this is now? Trying to get them back into it, back to a club, just having this on the resume. Well, it was interesting. You know, Tony Fonseca. You know, we've spoken about. You know, in some of these guys' cases, this was probably their first 90 minutes for a long period of time, and. That's not the ideal setup for your national team. You want the guys to be playing full time and, and uh, really getting involved in first team football, you know. And I think that uh, some of the guys have definitely put themselves in the shop window, either North American wise or you know, in, in back in Europe. You know, they've played 90 minutes and done very well. So I'm very pleased with that. So it is. I said at the start that it was an opportunity for players. It was an opportunity uh, both for the Gold Cup positions and it was an opportunity to, for them if they're unattached or as, as Steve rightly said, to, to put themselves in the shop window. Colin, you've sort of been handed two very young teams, both January and here. From the limited time you've seen with this squad, what what is the status of this team heading into the Gold Cup? Well, again, that'll be availability of the final selection, uh, whoever makes that final selection. and. Uh, I believe the roster went in, the 35-man roster went in as it had to go in. So those, there'll still be some to and fro within the squad. But I think between the, the US performance certainly and, and certain aspects of the, the Denmark performance and certainly some performances here in Edmonton tonight have done most of the players, if not all of them, some real favours. So I think, I think it, it'll be a young group and we're all hoping that it is a, a chance for young guys to go and establish themselves in this Gold Cup. Three fantastic teams to play against, you know, and, and uh, big challenges in different ways. So, lots to look forward to for sure.